from the outset, I think I should say that I, my background is that I have worked for Marian Roberts. Um, I worked for Marian Roberts um, at the Madupi site um, in, in Lepalali. And then I was um, retrenched in uh, March uh, this year. And after, after I was retrenched, I noticed on Twitter that um, the, um, the site for the Grayson Bridge had been handed over to Marian Roberts. But uh, in fact, I'd never been told while I was in consultation with Marian Roberts that, that they had been awarded that site and that project. So um, I noticed the, um, you know, the, the, the artist impressions of the, the permanent works that was going to be constructed there. Uh, so um, I followed the, you know, the progress of the project uh, from the outset. Um, and there wasn't much progress um, occurring, excepting obviously on the, uh, the 14th of October, there was the, um, the incident which occurred. After studying the, um, all the visual material that was available on Twitter, um, I was able to collect quite a number of, of images and orientate myself um, accurately. And I would say from the outset, the um, one aspect of, of the temporary works which appeared to be inadequate was the abutments on the eastern side and the western side of, of the deck that collapsed. Um, by temporary works, I mean the, um, what, what's been referred to in the media as scaffolding. Now, on the, on the vertical supports for the scaffolding um, for the temporary works was actually comprised um, a product called Super Shores from Formscaf. Um, then the scaffolding that was utilized on site was, was used to um, assemble what I call the abutments. It is the, the section of the works to provide for lateral support. It is to provide for horizontal forces that um, may occur uh, on the structure while, while, under, while the bridge is under construction. Okay, then further images showed um, that, that when the bridge collapsed, um, the, the median supports, which were, were similar to, to those on the um, eastern and western side, excepting they were about two meters shorter, and um, in a double set of, of, of super shore supports, uh, which had been pre-assembled prior to, to erection, had toppled over without um, any visible um, distortion uh, where it was supported on the, where it had been supported on the foundations and where it had been attached to the, um, the um, steel lattice girder which was assembled above. So that was indicative of, um, in my opinion, a lack of bolting um, to the foundation and, and, and inadequate bolting to the, to the lattice girder above. very interesting because what the photographs show is that um, at the, um, if, if I mention now that the, those um, lattice girders were delivered, they were in total of, of 48 meters long, um, the, the span from the eastern to the western side, and they were delivered in, in approximately 12 meter sections for the eastern side and the western side respectively. And they had to be bolted together at the median in the same manner that they were pre-assembled in the, in, in the yard. So these, these um, units comprised a modular system which bolted together um, every six meters. Now, um, the photographs show that the western half of the deck virtually collapsed flat onto the road. It, it moved eight meters to the west as the, as the uh, vertical supports hinged over and then collapsed flat on the ground, whereas the the eastern section tilted over facing southwards, and toppled over facing with the top of surface of the deck facing southwards. But the point I'm making is that at the median, there was no apparent attachment of the eastern side to the western side. And the, the rotation took place, the, the western side collapsing horizontally and the, the eastern side rotating um, anti-clockwise. Um, looking from the south. Basically, um, 
the, the fact that it collapsed like that showed that the, that the, the connection um, was defective, the connection of the eastern and the western side. Yes, as I said, those, those units comprise identical six meter long modules, which at the bottom um, of, of each module, there, there's six bolts. So the bottom, the, 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 the tie, um, the, 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 the bottom, um, no, the bottom, um, what is the, um, which you call a tie, it's, a, it's normally the one intention, had six bolts, was supposed to have six bolts, and, and the one at the top that was in compression was had fewer bolts. Um, yes, what I looked at there was the, the photograph of the, um, the, the foundations that were cast at the median. Um, the, there was no evidence of bolts, of bolting to the foundation. So it showed that, that um, the statement that, I made, that I've just made, that, that, the, that the, there was no distortion on the ends of the, um, the super shores. Um, is, is, is backed up by the fact that there was, in fact, no bolting. Yes. Um, look, the, the procedures, the, um, the construction regulations make provision for the designer of temporary works to um, inspect the works as they are being erected. And prior to them being erected, there are, there's a need for um, a safety plan to be drafted um, based on a documented method statement. So there, there appear to be failings um, in the system um, at, a, at, a, at, at quite an alarming uh, position in the organisation. Um, no, look, I feel that there's been a lot of silence um, from the professional fraternity regarding this um, incident. And um, I've been adding my, my tuppence worth um, via, primarily via Twitter, um, to basically support um, a thorough inquiry. Okay. Um, the, the, the facts that the, 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 fa the, the, um, the allegations or the observations that I've made are um, valid engineering um, you know, propositions which need to be tested, um, i.e. were there bolts um, at the um, um, lattice girders at the median? And if, if there were, there should still be um, evidence of the um, the, the pressure um, points on the paintwork to show where the bolts were. So there's, there's adequate opportunity still for some of these facts to be verified.